Hello, today I would like to introduce you to a new tool we have in InfoOS. We call it Health Service. During this video, we will give you information about what challenges we would like to address using this tool, the main functionality and positioning of the tool, and we will provide you with a demo of the tool. First of all, let's address the question of why. Why did we decide to develop the Health Service? So the health service is designed to address the following problems. The first one is the absence of a universal health system. Almost all Infor applications have their own air tracking module. And in some cases, we can proactively notify our users. But we don't have any centralized place where users have an overview of issues from different systems. The second is the absence of access to cloud events. In some cases, errors and notifications relevant to our customers are only visible to the Infor team. And the third one is blind spots. Using the health service, we would like to stimulate our Infor applications to provide more information about issues to users. So the second question I would like to answer is what? What is health service? So the health service is a new standard tool for Infor multi-tenant applications to report software issues that require user actions. So the idea of the health service is to publish events that a user can address. So Infor applications like M3, ION, IFS, and RPA can report issues to the health service and the health service will proactively notify our users then users can promptly address issues. And the idea of the health service is not only to inform our users about issues that already happened, but to prevent some future issues. For example, when we create a new tenant, we issue a certificate. This certificate allows you to use single sign-on to log into the Infor portal. We have issued this certificate for three years but when you have 90 days before the expiration date, we will send you a message in the health service to renew this certificate and all the instructions you need. If you do not renew this certificate 30 days before the expiration date, we will send you a kind reminder to renew your certificate. This will help you avoid any login issues in the future. So the health service is a centralized place where users can have an overview of issues from different Infor applications, and we have different channels to proactively notify our users in UI or by email, and we are working on new channels. Health Service has a role-based access control, so the application can define an IFS role that should be assigned to a user to be able to see events, and Health Service has some personalization. We would also like to share information about the terms we have in Health Service. So the first one is Application. Application for the Health Service is any Infor multi-tenant application that can send issues to the Health Service. It can be ION, M3, LN, RPA, etc. The second level is the Module. We use modules in Health Service to logically aggregate events from applications. As an example, the File Connection Point module. This module contains the following issues related to a file connection point. So in a file connection point, we may have connectivity issues when we cannot connect, for example, to the SFDP server. The server is down or our credentials are not valid anymore, or we may have configuration issues with a folder. The folder doesn't exist, or we put a folder's name wrong, so these type of issues can be logically aggregated inside one module. The next level is resources. So the resource is a specific component of the application that can send events to the health service. An example of ION can be a specific connection point. As you know, you can create as many connection points as you need in ION, and each connection point may have some issues. 
It can be connectivity issues, configuration issues, and other issues. Each connection point will separately send events to the health service. So we call this resource. The message we send to health service is called events. Now we are ready for the demo. Health service has two main screens. One is the administrative screen. It can be found inside InfoOS. This page shows the list of applications that already send events to health service. You can see each application's list of resources, event types, and modules. You can activate or deactivate each resource. When you deactivate it, it means that the resource will stop sending events to health service. When you need it again, you can activate it easily. The next page is the health notification page where users can see an overview of issues from different info applications. We have two types of events, health events and application events. Health events are presented like a timeline, so in this case, you can see when issues started and when they were resolved. Application events are one-time events. For each event, we show the following information, event type, creation date, and when the issue appeared. We show the icon. This icon means the severity level. We have three severity levels. It can be an error, alert, or info. Then we have a header with a short description of an issue. When you click on the event, it shows you additional information. In this case, we have an issue with the SFDP connection point. And here, we can find the logical ID of this connection point and some details of the issue. So in this case, we have some issues with the folder. In some cases, the application can provide you with a drillback link to the resource. If we click this link, we can jump right to the resource where the issue has happened. Here we can check the settings, and if we can, we can fix the issue. When the issue is fixed, we can mark it as red, and then it will disappear from the list. On this page, we also have a search option. We can mark all events as red and set some filters. We can use modules, event types, and logical IDs. We can show all events marked as red. We can filter by severity level or creation date. As we mentioned, the health service supports different channels of communication. This UI is a one-off channel, and another one is email notifications. To enable emails, you need to go to the user settings. Click on health notifications. You can set the email configuration for all applications you have. For example, we would like to be notified of ION use cases for this specific module file connection point for this particular event type. So you need to set a checkbox if you would like to receive emails in this case. In some cases, applications may provide some additional filters. We can define a specific logical ID. And then when we have an issue with a connection point, we will receive an email. The email we send will look like this. In the subject, we show information that we have some issue with ION and the tenant name. Then we will give you information about the issue. We have an issue with the connection point, so we provide a link to jump right to the resource. This concludes this presentation on ION's health service. Thanks for watching. For additional content, visit developer.info.com so you can build, customize, and accomplish more. Please subscribe to get notified when new videos are available.